CataractCoach.com. Broken IOL complications. Have you had this happen to you? Broken lenses, damaged optics, damaged haptics. Here's a routine case from a very experienced cataract surgeon. So a routine case, nice capsule bag, everything looks normal. Going to implant a single piece acrylic lens in the capsule bag. This is the surgeon implanting the new Alcon Clarion lens where his technician has loaded the lens for him. Lens goes in the capsule bag. Looks pretty routine, right? So get that lens delivered. We've all done this before. Give it a moment. Get those haptics open up and start to deliver this thing. Get it rotated and rotate it a little bit more. And it looks pretty good, right? So IA probe coming inside the eye. Everything looks pretty routine. You can see it's a beautiful exit. Whoa, why does that haptic come back? It was already opened. Well, look carefully. The haptic optic junction is fractured. And so as this lens was delivered down the injector, it got fractured at the haptic optic junction. And this lens needs to come out. It's not going to stay centered. So now the surgeon's putting in more viscoelastic. It looks like some dispersive viscoelastic get under the optic. And now you can see there's that broken haptic. This lens has to be explained. Do not leave this lens in the capture bag. No, you can't put it in the sulcus. This thing has to come out of the eye. And so for this, obviously, I like our twist and out technique. You can use that same incision. Just pull this thing right out of the eye and twist it in there. All you need is some tying forceps and a spatula. If you don't know what we're talking about, you go to cataractcoach.com. You type in the keyword twist, T-W-I-S-T, in the search engine there on cataractcoach.com, and the video will come up, and you can learn how to explant this lens through the original incision without any special instruments, no scissors, no cutting, nothing. So there you can see now that haptic is certainly broken. That just can't stay in the eye. That has to come out. So these pieces can be cut. Be careful in cutting like this. You can damage the posterior capsule with those sharp scissors if you're not careful. I like that rotation 180, a little bit more cutting. And now these pieces can be taken out of the eye and then a new lens implanted. So interesting case. I've not seen that complication before, but certainly anything can happen. Here's the new lens. Now it looks much better. The patient's going to have a beautiful outcome. So all is well that ends well. And this is a very nice ending. Let's look at another case. Now, this other case is really unusual. Not high-resolution video, I know, but forgive me the cases that need you had to show you. So certain routine case, capsule bag is there, put viscoelastic, delivering the lens. Watch carefully. As the lens goes in the capsule bag, let's see what happens. And open up the haptics. And so far, it looks pretty good. Just give it some time. Put the IA probe in the eye. Get those haptics to open up. Watch carefully. Watch carefully. What do you notice? Whoa, 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 whoa. That lens is looking really deep in the... There you go. That's the edge of the lens. The lens is now dangling in the mid-vitreous. Somehow, this lens damaged and broke and popped right through the posterior capsule. So very carefully, the surgeon's using some hooks here. This is where your blood pressure goes really high and your pulse goes really high, too. And you feel the sweat just kind of building up. You're so stressed out here. But we can, be, we can save this. So let's get that there. Put some viscoelastic underneath it. Bring a haptic out of the eye. So I would have brought a haptic out of the eye just so you have something to hold on to. I don't want to see this fall into the vitreous. And then you don't need to cut the lens fully in half. If you're going to cut it in half, you can actually just cut it 80, 90% of the way through. And then at least the two pieces are joined together and they're stuck to each other so that you won't lose it. Okay. Now you got an open bag. The old lens is out. Luckily, that lens is out of the eye. You're not going to leave that single piece of acrylic lens in the eye with an open bag. Put some triamcinolone in. Let's stain the vitreous. Let's see what we got here. Already on anti vitrectomy mode. All right. Clean up any prolapse vitreous. Luckily, I think you'll do fine. Vitreous is cleared from the anterior segment. You have a nice looking rexus, fortunately. So time to put in a three-piece lens. So there you go. Nice looking rexus still. We can still put a three-piece lens in the sulcus, capture the optic, right? So here's the cartridge. Surgeon's going to load it up here. There goes the lens, getting that leading haptic in. There's the trailing haptic, being cautious here not to get it damaged. And now, okay, push it down the plunger a little bit, get this clicked in. And let's see the delivery of the three-piece lens. Yeah, no, there's going to be some fun action here. You just know. So as the lens goes in, you know the 7L rule. The leading haptic better look like the number 7. So as it goes in, so let's, let's see. Here's the delivery. Nice and easy. Lens goes in. There's the haptic. Correct orientation. That looks good. Deliver the optic. Deliver the optic. Okay, that looks good. And whoa, what's that? What'd you notice? Did you see something? Where is the trailing haptic? It's still stuck in the injector. 
The trailing haptic is in the injector. So now what do you do? Now you've got this lens in the eye, three-piece lens with only one haptic. It's a two-piece lens now. So what are you going to do? The trailing haptic got just caught in the injector, and now it broke off. Now, it actually didn't break. It got un, you know, disinserted. So there's the haptic. It's still intact. But remember, these haptics are hand-staked into the IOLs by the lens manufacturing people. So the surgeon here is going to do something very unusual, holding the lens interocular with one forcep and going to reinsert the haptic here. It is a friction fit that's not fit with any type of glue. So that can be reinserted, but you got to be careful. Is it going to be as strong? Now that tip's coated, the, the tip that went into the optic is coated with a little viscoelastic. Is that going to be okay? Well, fortunately, in this case, it's going to be okay. So the surgeon here now gets that trailing haptic inside the eye. The other option, of course, is to explant this lens and put a third lens in. And now being very cautious to get the haptics into the sulcus. Now, important here, you don't want to do your typical technique of just rotating it by pushing at the haptic optic junction because that may disinsert the lens uh, haptic, right? So instead, look at the surgeon's going to do here. For this one, just keeping it, yeah, rotate a little bit, but just use that hook to grab the outside of that haptic and then get it nicely dialed in the bag, or actually, in this case, part of me dialed into the sulcus, and then you'll do an optic capture. So super stressful cases. Being an ophthalmologist, it's just not easy, especially when it comes to cataract surgery.